take a nice bite. <laughs> and he's smoking some good stuff. <laughs> Beautiful mosque is another historical landmark here in Chef Shawan. Peace out. Yeah, Captain Chef. <laughs> good morning from the blue city of Chef Shawan. Today is a nice sunny day. If you watched my last video, it was a bit cold and rainy. But today we're going to explore some of the landmarks here in Chef Shawan. But I learned why Chef Shawan is called the Blue City and basically it has to do with the fact that um, the city was blue, the sky is blue, it's kind of a way to connect with God through the heavens, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but first I gotta go get breakfast because I'm hungry, but it's a beautiful sunny day. How much for uh, one orange? 20? Can I have one please? Thank you. I'm just gonna get a fresh orange juice. And take, <laughs> and take a video. <laughs> you know, you can't do anything these days yeah. without taking a video. So. It's a proof, so. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Indonesia. Indonesia? Yeah. Nice. Uh, I'm from America. Oh, okay. Yeah. But Originally, Pakistan. Oh, Pakistan. Where from Indonesia are you? Jakarta. Yeah. I've been, oh, I've been yeah, to really? Jakarta. Yeah. I've been to Jakarta, Surabaya, Sulawesi, oh, yeah. Bali. How long have you been there? Uh, I was there for like a month. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yes, it's sufficient. It's yeah. A, yeah. Yes, so I'm gonna go back again though. They have a lot of people who watch my videos from Indonesia. So we love. Uh, I mean, like we love foreigners. Yeah. Who talk about Indonesia in a nice way. <laughs> but it's such a nice place, you know. So, Bibi, what's your? Um, this is your name of your business. Oh, you're really a YouTuber, right? Sa <laughs> Said juice seller. Said Ayaz. Ah, very nice. How long have you? How long have you been here? Have, Six years, same place, same place. every day. Yeah. What time? Uh, what? Eight till till seven p.m. Okay, so Six. guys, if you come to Chef Shown, you don't leave without buying a juice from Mr. Saeed. You have to support small business. She's sporting small. How do you? What do you think about the juice? It's very. Be honest. This is for you, it's gonna be 50. But usually it's 20. Yeah, I'm just kidding, it's 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nothing like a fresh juice, man. Early in the morning, as you saw, there's a whole rush of people going to get Saeed juice. For two dollars, for two euro, fresh squeeze. Mm. This is why I love being in places like this where the availability of organic ingredients is prevalent and you can get fresh juice for two bucks back home for a jamba juice which isn't even real juice you'll pay like seven eight dollars one thing really important to know about chef Shawan also is like every other city in morocco it's also a very historical city we're talking this city dates back to the 1400s it was actually 1471 when this place was discovered by a local explorer and the town at that time was actually used as a Portuguese, uh, as a fortress to fight off the Portuguese who were conquering the land at that time. During the Spanish reconquest of 1492, you had people from Gomara tribes, Moriscos, and Jews who settled here. So this is actually one of the few places in the world where you see like Muslims, Christians, and Jews living kind of in harmony. Um, and then around 1900s, the Spanish came and settled here and kind of conquered it. And there are some Spanish historical landmarks that have been left here. And one of them we're going to go visit today, which is known as the Spanish Mosque. But first, I got to get some coffee and breakfast in me. So close to the Caspa, they have a lot of places that you can eat. And there's one place here called Estrella that I've been told is pretty decent. They got breakfast. They got Moroccan breakfast. So we're going to go try some local Moroccan breakfast. And you get a beautiful view while you're eating. So you can sit here outside and get an amazing view. A typical Moroccan breakfast, guys, as you can see. They give you a lot for, um, I think this is like five euro, but you get vegetables, you get avocado, you get eggs, you get mortadel, some cheese, some cucumbers, and then they give you some bread and pastry, and then they give you some more bread. It's like amazing. And then they give you a fresh orange juice, and they give you a coffee, and that's all included for five euro, man. Only in Morocco. 
Moroccan breakfast is very special because the eggs, uh, they cook it with like a, the thickness of a, the olive oil and then you could put some more olive oil on it as well. Everything here needs olive oil. That's Moroccan food, you know. This is, reminds me of eating at home with like a paratha. This looks like a it's, it's actually basically a paratha for all my desi folks out there who know what's, what's up. You guys take some egg, some cheese. Mm. The special thing about food in Morocco is just the ingredients are so fresh. Every time I eat food, I feel like these guys just got these eggs from a chicken just pick these vegetables from the farm. This bread was just freshly made. Like everything is just amazing, man. The cheese. All right, guys. So this area of Chef Shawan that I'm walking through at the moment is the Medina. It's the main square, and it's actually right next to the Kasba. You might have heard me say the word Kasba a lot. A Kasba is basically just a fort. It's a citadel. It's a what people used back in the day. To defend themselves specifically here this this kasbah this fort was actually used to defend themselves against the portuguese around the 1400s and now it's obviously just a beautiful historical site yes hello habibi salam alaikum very good you blue like chef shawan <laughs> you from chef shawan yeah chef shawan uh good good, good city what's up for very nice this one the blue city very nice the picture very very good the instagram i go to the spanish mosque now this one yeah this, this one? is uh, spanish mosque no this one the, uh, ah very nice what's your name ahmed ahmed ayub osama osama salam nice alaikum to meet you. nice to meet you my name is meyer hey blue uh, gang gang how are you bro? gang 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 what's good lunch? what's good huh have lunch? i just had amazing <laughs> breakfast thank you bro I just, that was a piece of i just had a breakfast <laughs> well, maybe later i have lunch inshallah inshallah welcome bro thank you so Where much are from bro India? i'm from i'm no 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 from? i'm from the u.s but i'm pakistani Wow, Pakistan. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Look at this man. Welcome, bro. You have name for me, bro. You have name for me. No change me, bro. Huh? You have name for me. Maybe what? later. Mar Marisco, Marisco twins. Marisco twins. You have name for me. God for the shit for the. Okay. The full menu. I when when I come back from the mosque. Maybe later. Inshallah. You have the full menu seventy. Yeah. Star second dish in this zero. Welcome, bro. Yes. Yeah, so See you later. When you later, bro. Do you know how many people are going to be watching this? Welcome, bro. You have the chief chow. You God tell them. God for the shit for the. Welcome, all thousand. Welcome. Thank marhaba, you, marhaba. Marhaban, become welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will go in the Kasbah. Thank you. Now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so coming inside the Kasbah, just so you know, if you're Moroccan, you can pay 10 dirham. So if you want to change your citizenship before you come here, that's the only way to get it for 10. But other than that, you got to pay 60. So if you're a foreigner, shukran. Thank you. So welcome. Welcome to the Kasbah. We are going inside the Kasbah. So you can come inside this Kasbah and just check it out from the inside, it's beautiful. But also, if you want to go up to the Spanish Mosque, you have to come through here as well. Citadel that we're walking through, I mean, it's been stepped through through the likes of famous explorers. And it's been around since 1471. This place is old as heck. So as you can see, in this Kasbah is one of the best viewpoints you're going to get of the Chef Shaun, the city of Chef Shaun. It's beautiful, so you got to come up here and get this viewpoint. But another thing that people don't know is in the 1900s um, there was a part of Morocco, like the upper part, was actually known as Spain's Morocco. So it was actually under the tutelage of Spain at the time, including this city of Chef Shaun and this Kasbah, the mosque, all of that was kind of Spaniard territory until, of course, later on when they reclaimed it back. But a lot of history in this country and in this city as well okay so we are now walking up to the spanish one, mosque yes. i don't know which way i'm going but my friends are <laughs> guiding me uh, wait, go on. <laughs> yeah so you know uh, basically from the kasbah it's like a 10 minute walk from the kasbah no yeah this minute yeah, yeah. this minute is para the kastad huh. 10 minutes 10 minutes yeah. okay so you have to go to the cascade first mm -hmm. That takes about 10 minutes from the Kasbah and then you um, you can walk up to the mosque. It takes another 10 minutes. So what is this, Habibi? Tell me. This is a waterfall. So one thing that's very special here in uh, in um, Shifshaun is the water. 
Yeah. It's very clean, no? Yes. And it's very cold. Chef Shawan, La Perla Azul. La Perla Azul. Yeah. So they say they have water like pearl. It's yeah. clear and you can actually see. Yeah, so it's very good can you uh, uh aquí bebe no problem. Yeah, no problem. Uh. It's a problem for andando de uh. gente. Tiene problema. No gente? No gente? Beber, no no problem. So yeah. he's saying that uh, you can drink this water but the only problem now is people use it to like clean their cells. They para yeah. para limpia. <laughs> sí. yeah. no so nada, that's kind of eh. That's kind of ruined the quality of the water, but if people aren't inside, you can use this water to just drink it because it's very fresh and it's very cold. Uh, hot spring. Yeah. Ah, beautiful, beautiful. You can see how clear this water is. You can literally see right through it. Very rare you see water in a spring that clear. Guys, how old are you? How old are you? It's, Cuántos uh, años? Quince. Uh, yeah? Quince. Quince. And yeah. you? Churchi. 13? Yeah. Uh, 13, 13. 13. And, and 14. You're very tall for your age. Yeah. Muy alto. alto. Muy alto. <laughs> Do I. Aquí, de la lavadora. Para oh. ropa. Con, uh, con, con uh, tangerine? Uh, no, it's oh. uh, uh, leche. Uh. Oh, la aje tiene uh. de ropa. Aquí tiene de sí. ropa. Oh. Sí. Lavadora. Ah, lavadora. So this is where they wash the clothes with the oranges. It's amazing. The thing about walking up here, the more, the more higher you get, the more beautiful the view is. You get the view of the mountains, you get the view of the waterfalls, the beautiful blue city. And just walking up here is such a pleasure. And then I have some friends, I have some amigos with me. They're helping me out, the three musketeers. <laughs> They're helping me get to the top. So you guys are in school or no? Yeah, school, yeah. yeah. How come today you don't have school? Uh, uh, mañana, mañana. Yeah, mañana. Uh, hoy uh, no tengo por, por qué, por qué? Uh, uh, no. Uh, oh, finito. Yeah, finito. Oh, finito. Oh, uh, so these guys are done with school for today. ¿Te, que, uh, te gusta la escuela o no? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> of course, he doesn't like school. He's like me. What's your name? Sulaiman. Where can they find you? Yes, no problem. Instagram you have? Yes, I have Instagram. What's your Instagram? You tell the YouTube. Yes. My, my YouTube channel. They will follow you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Blue, oh, okay, guys. You can the go blue, follow the blue photographer. The underscore blue underscore photographer. He's a local artist. He's also a photographer. Go follow yes, him. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. I will follow you also. Yes, what's your name? Meyer. Meyer Traffic. Meyer. Guys, I am sweating, as you can see. It's very hot, man. Like, it's not hot, but when you're walking up, you get very hot. Ah, na mesh in Jamal was a far, and the Ahmad, and the Ayub, Toha. What's your Instagram, Habibi? Usama Usama zero six. Chloe, shoot you. I'm not sure. I'm so, yeah. so guys, um, if you're walking up here, just be, just understand that you're gonna get tired. You should take breaks along the way. We're taking a little bit of a break. My friend here, getting some water. Make sure you stay hydrated. And yeah. If you're older or if you are a little bit like immobile, it's very tough to come up here. Unfortunately, there's no other way besides walking it, but you can take your time, you know, leave early. Hey guys, we're almost at the Spanish mosque now. We're just arriving there. It's beautiful. You know what's funny, different about this mosque is it actually looks like a church, but it's a mosque built by the Spanish. It's a beautiful mosque. There's another historical landmark here in Chef if you come to Shifshaw and you have to come to this mosque, 
it's definitely one of the landmarks now this mosque is actually from the 1900s 1920 specifically when Spain came back during the reconquest they took a hold of a few parts of Morocco and this city of Shershaun was actually considered a part of Spanish Morocco and when they were here they built this now I don't know if this was originally a church because it looks a lot like a you know a classic colonial church but this is a mosque now Habibi Primero es, es una iglesia, uh, después uh, es un mosque? No, es no. una la mosque. Oh, only. Sí, Pero sí. mira uh, una iglesia. No, es, no, es la mosque de España, no iglesia. No, no iglesia. Es iglesia para arriba de oh. estudiar. So they have a church down there. Yeah. But this was always, siempre, yeah. siempre, siempre, siempre mosque. mosque. Yeah. Okay, so this was always a mosque, not a, not a church. So this is my Moroccan Habibi. When you come to the Mosque de España, you have to pay respect to Habibi. <laughs> and he's smoking some good stuff. <laughs> es uh, muy bueno. Ah, oh, very nice. No? Es finito? This is a souk? Yeah. So. Okay, so this is a souk. We're back in the souk. What's also really cool about this city is, I mentioned before, the water is very clean here. So you can literally, they have these taps along the street that you can just get water from and just fill your bottle up. It's the first place I've ever seen that. Everything is good. What's the name of this restaurant? Uh, our restaurant, Jabariya, woman, Mountain Woman. So let's, let's go try this restaurant. Today we're going to try out some tagine here. And what's really nice about this restaurant is it also has a really beautiful view on the top floor, the terrace. A lot of restaurants here in Shefshaun have nice views as well because we're already high up on a hill. So this one has a beautiful view if you come here, sit on the top. One thing I really love about Moroccan meals is the fact that they give you like little, little, little things, little samplers that you can eat beforehand and it's included in the meal. So it's not like appetizer. This is actually part of the meal. So the star of the show has arrived and this is the tagine. It's a very, very uh, staple dish here in Morocco. If you come here, you must try this food. You cannot leave Morocco until you try a good tagine. And to be honest with you, you can tell the way it looks. It looks very official. It's not full of French fries like the one I had in the last one. This has the real Moroccan flavors. It has some dates on top, some uh, dried plum, some onion, some different olive oils, and you can just smell it. it smells amazing. And the cool thing is, you got all these little side things that you can dip in. They give you some bread, and the bread is what you use. Oof, look at the bread. The bread in Morocco is, ugh, I mean, can't even begin to tell you how amazing it is, but peel some bread. Let's try this out. And this one is a goat one, so you can get it with goat, you can get it with chicken, you can get it with beef, but this guy told me that his specialty over here is with goat. And I love goat. I used to not like goat, but as I get older, I enjoy goat meat more and more. So let's try it out and look at the piece, it's so tender. Oh man, it's amazing. You dip it into the juice and you take a nice bite. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. Now that is good. That is some real Moroccan food right there oh so the thing that makes tagine special is they cook it inside of this clay pot so it gives it like a little bit of a different texture and flavor than just cooking it in a normal metal skillet or something but yeah man the the sweet burnt onion has a taste of sweetness a taste of savory um, and just overall yummy man yummy they give you a lot of food I'm trying to finish this I'm almost I think I finished all the meat but even the sides that they oh it's just but it was like real authentic moroccan you can just taste it so if you watched my video yesterday my last video i would highly recommend don't go to that place come to this place the all food. that food and the crazy thing is you pay like five euros for all of that food man 
in Morocco, the quality and amount of food you get for your money is probably one of the best values I've seen. Oh, I'm so full. So guys, wonderful meal at this restaurant. What's the name of the restaurant? Jabaria. Jabaria. Yeah. So if you come to Shifshawan, you make sure you stop at this restaurant. We if you want to try, because brother, the tagine is very good. authentic. Saha. It tastes like I'm a real Moroccan, no a, tourist food, you know. So how long has this restaurant been here? Uh, like three months now. Three, three months. months. Yeah, we opened in October, okay. beginning of October. And how is it going? People like the food? Uh, yes, yeah. yes. Now we are not very famous. And for but that inshallah, is, soon you will be the most inshallah. famous. Thank yeah. you. For Guys, that. make sure you come support them. And what's your name? Mustafa. Mustafa. He's the manager. He does a great job. Uh, the Thank owner you. is not here, but he's also a very nice guy. All right, guys. There it is. We are done. I'm done exploring Chef Shaun. Between my last video and this video, I think you should have a good idea of what this city is like. I hope that I was able to encompass everything as much as I could possibly do in these two days uh, with the weather being the way it is. But I have to say this this city of uh, Morocco definitely goes down as one of my favorite places I've ever visited because of the sheer beauty that you see as you go along the blue everywhere the mountains everywhere just being high up in the air and just being able to see everything but on top of that the beautiful people the people here are so kind and that's always what makes a place beautiful and nice is the people so I've really enjoyed my time here in Chef Shown. If you guys come to Morocco, make sure you visit this city. It's one of the nicest. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Marhaba, Pakistan. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. Bro. Take time, take a picture to make. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 thank you, brother. Thank you so much. <laughs> as I was saying, everybody's so kind here, as you saw. But with that being said, guys, more Morocco videos coming soon, so stay tuned. Ah, this is my brother right here. <laughs> Oh, clean today. Yeah. I showed this guy's shop in the last video. He's he's my friend. I buy I buy one gift from him. Thank you. Thank you. So with that being said, guys, remember, continue to learn, continue to grow, and there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Yeah, capital. <laughs>